We all know that governments love to bribe us with our own tax money so that we'll vote for them in elections. But it's astounding that the Trudeau government has put aside up to $100 billion so that they can bribe us with our own money and we'll vote for them in the election. Uh, Christian Freeland, the uh, finance minister, announced this in the government's November economic statement. She said that the government would spend a minimum of $70 billion and a maximum of $100 billion over three years starting this April and going to March of 2024 to help the economy recover after the pandemic recession recedes. In the spring, when the virus is under control and our economy is ready for new growth, we will deploy an ambitious stimulus package to jumpstart our recovery spending roughly 3 to 4% of GDP over three years, our government will make carefully judged, targeted, and meaningful investments to create jobs and boost growth. So she didn't tell us how to spend the money. The parliamentary budget officer, Yves Giroux, who is basically our nonpartisan representative and is a financial watchdog of how our tax dollars are spent, says he's never seen a government do that, never seen them put aside a hundred billion dollars without saying what's going to happen to it. And he told us what's going to happen. He said that right now the Trudeau government is being fiercely lobbied by special interests who are going to try and convince the government to give their clients a hundred billion dollars so they can develop programs with our tax money to help us recover from the economy, from the, um, uh, the COVID-19 uh, recession. And he also makes another point. This is again Giroux, the parliamentary budget officer. He says he doesn't think the government has to spend $100 billion or up to $100 billion over three years. That according to the government's own economic data, um, the economy is going to pretty much recover on its own now. And that if any more spending is needed, it's a much smaller amount targeted specifically to help restructure our economy. So here's the situation. Our current annual federal deficit is almost $400 billion. Our total debt, which is all the deficits, is over $1 trillion. And now the Trudeau government wants to add $100 billion of more debt that its own financial watchdog says we probably don't need to spend. Really doesn't sound like it makes much sense, does it? Unless, of course, your plan is in the next budget, whether it's this spring or in the summer, to load up us with $100 billion worth, up to $100 billion worth of election goodies, so we'll vote for them. I'm Laurie Goldstein of Sun Media. We're always interested in hearing your views, and please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our YouTube channel.